Hello, and a welcome back to another gardening video. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how and when to harvest your chilli peppers. And I've been growing, you can see these plants around me, these are all chilli pepper plants. And I grew all of these from seed, and these are cayenne, ring, ring of fire chilli peppers. And even the tiniest bit is super, super spicy. And I've tried a few. It's so spicy that if you almost touch it, you get like a bit of fieriness on you. And there are various stages of a chilli pepper's growth. It goes from the seedling to the bigger plant. And then once it starts producing flowers, you know that you're nearer to that point of it starting to set fruit. And the chilli pepper starts off by just, just when the flower gets pollinated, just a tiny, tiny little chilli pepper. You can see that just starts to sprout. And then it starts to elongate and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it's a, a bigger chilli pepper. And then when it's got to its full size, which is usually about the length of a finger, depending on what variety you're growing, it will then, over a few days or a week, it will slowly start to turn red until it's a pure reddish colour. And that's when you're going to want to harvest. And if you don't harvest it and you leave it, it will then go really, really red and then it will start to crinkle and go all wrinkly. And it, that's when it's past its eatable date. And that's what I'm leaving some of mine to do because I'm gonna then harvest them, but not eat them. But then I'm gonna collect the seeds, dry them, and then keep them so that I can grow more chili peppers later on. So you can see this chili pepper is absolutely perfect for harvesting and so is this little tiny one here. And you can tell this is ready because it is, well, it's really big for starters, and even though this one isn't, it's still good, but it's big, so that's exactly what you want your chili pepper to be like. It's completely red, which is exactly what this variety of pepper is like. Some varieties, you harvest them when they're green, and some when they're red, so make sure you check what variety you're growing. And if I just give this a little squeeze, it's nice and tender and, and a, a tiny bit squishy, but not overripe squishy. So this is kind of when you want to do it. And you can either snap it off, but I would say cut it with some scissors because then you won't risk damaging the rest of the plant. And same with this one. You can see it's an even darker red, meaning it's even a tiny little bit more riper. And even though it's fairly small, it's still a still a, still that would be really really spicy just that tiny one so definitely worth harvesting the smaller ones well as these like much larger ones. and to harvest it you literally just get a pair of sharp scissors get get the stem that you want to cut and then just snip it and then you can always snip that little bit off later if you want but you don't really have to and then there we go, we've got a nice little chilli pepper we can add to meals or do whatever we want with. But then if you're growing chilli peppers for, or growing some of your chilli peppers and you want to save the seeds from them, like I do here, then you wanna really, you wanna wait until they're all nice and wrinkly like this one is. And all you can feel is if you squish them is the centre column of seeds. And this is when you wanna leave them. So basically just let them get really ripe and start to go all wrinkly like this. So that they're effectively drying out while still on the pod. And then you wanna you wanna get your sharp pair of scissors again and then just go in and do the same as if you were harvesting it and then just snip like that. And then we've got our chili pepper here. And some chili peppers like these ones, they're so hot and fiery that some people can even have a reaction by just touching them. And I think I might be one of those people. It's not that bad, but if I fiddle around with the seeds or anything, my hands just get a little bit kind of fiery and itchy. So that's why I've got these spe these normal just kind of plastic gloves that you can, that they'll protect your skin perfectly and you can use them every time. And they're a really good way of just still getting in and fiddling around but then also protecting your hands. So they're a really useful tool. So for, ex for actually getting the seeds out, you're gonna wanna get your chili pepper, get a chopping board, and then get a small sharp knife. See, I've got this one here. And if you're a child and you're handling knives, then always remember to be careful. And then, then you're gonna wanna get the knife and put it at the very base and just cut in a tiny bit 
but being careful not to go all the way through. And you might have to do this and just cut down it. Like you're just opening it up. There we go. So now that we've cut through it, we can just kind of split it open on either side and you can see all those lovely seeds inside. And this is what, they should be about this size. This is what we're gonna keep. So we'll fully open it up and then we'll just kind of pull as many of the seeds as we can onto the chopping board. And we don't want any of the red fleshy stuff that comes with it. So we're just pulling off all the seeds. And there we go. We've got the remaining flesh that is just kind of all wrinkly and dried. So we can't really do anything with that. But then the most important bit is all the lovely seeds that we've managed to collect. And if you've left it in the pod long enough and they're all dried and they've just been sitting in here drying effectively, then you can put them straight into a jar and seal it or if you have seed packets then you can pour them into there but if they haven't dried then you're going to want to get a piece of tissue a piece of kitchen roll like this or tissue paper and then get your seeds and just pour it onto the tissue paper like this and then just leave in a warm place for about a day or two until they've dried and then like I said you can either put them in an airtight jar or like I've got here I've got some I've got some seed packets that I just just some empty seed packets that I ordered and this is where I keep my seeds and then you can just pour them all in here and then use it like a regular seed packet so, and then I've just sealed mine with paper clips to make sure they stay shut. But yeah, that's, a, that's effectively all you do. It's a really easy process. But you only, want to, you only want to put your seeds into a jar or seed packet when they're completely dry. Otherwise they might rot or mold will grow on them or you might just, they might just not, not, not keep properly. And when you're putting them in a jar or, or a little, bag, make sure to write down the date that you harvested them so that you know how long into the, so when you, when you go to the seed packet in the future, you know when you harvested them, therefore how old they are and if they, they're still viable. But they should still be, but they should be ready to use for about at least a couple of, two to four years after you've harvested them. So they're a really easy thing to grow if you want to. Thank you for watching so i hope you found this video quite helpful and useful and if you want to start growing chili peppers of your own then they are a really cool thing to grow and so like exotic and tropical but i'm just growing them here in england but making sure i'm growing them inside and if you like this video then make sure to comment down below or hit that like button and subscribe and maybe i'll do some more chili pepper videos in the future but for now thanks for watching and goodbye